Quite often when working on a drawing, it is necessary to select one of the elements in order to change its dimension or position. Grips is the easiest way to perform these editing tests. Grips are points displayed along the geometry when selected by clicking the mouse. Each type of geometry displays different positions for its standard grips. So let's analyze the grips displayed on a straight line. Click this element and you will see three points. The grips or points on the ends are used for changing the dimensions of the straight line. The grips in the middle of the straight line is used for moving the entity to other positions. Now let's take a look at a circumference. Click it and you will see five points or grips. The midpoint is used for changing the position of the entity and the others are used for resizing. You can select several grips at the same time by pressing the shift key. First press the shift key before selecting the first grip and then select the others. Now let's change the circumference dimension. First, let's click it. See how some information on the entity is displayed? You can simply change the size by inputting a new dimension in this box, or you can even drag the cursor freely in any direction. In a straight line, if you select one of the endpoint grips, two boxes will be displayed so that you can change the dimension. Type the value to be added to the original dimension of the element in the box near the cursor. In the middle box, you change the original dimension of the entity. There are two boxes displayed on the circumference which are used for the same purpose as the boxes on the grip of a straight line. So in this class, you have learned how to change dimensions and positions of entities using grips. Or just click the mouse to select the grips located along entities.